Here's a more in-depth look at my rear bumper. This side is actually two two by two pieces of square tubing welded on top of each other. Here's a piece of square tubing that goes from a plate right here. And it kind of makes an L shape actually. You can kind of see it, my lights mounted on it. This is two by six. I don't know the thickness, but it was pretty thick. Um, that's what this piece is. This is just a two by two we use for the hand or the latch. So to pull down, pull this out, slides right out. It is strong enough to hold a 38 inch tire. Took a wheeling yesterday and it was fine through all the bumps and vibrations. I did do a two inch receiver in it. I did do these after. I built a bumper probably like a year or so after. This piece right here, this pivot point and this pivot point actually come from a Humvee. I, they were getting rid of some stuff at work and I took it. It's unbolted and slides right off. There is an antenna on here. I haven't got a CB yet, but I got the antenna, so I just wanted to mount it. Two lights right here, right here. Here's a disconnect for the times I don't run my bumper. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I keep a high lift on it. Just easy access, so I don't gotta go inside and grab it and and doesn't take up space inside. I did do a little shackle to keep it from dropping. And yeah. That's about as, that's as far as it will go with the uh, high lift attached. Without the high lift, it'll actually swing all the way and hit the arm around the other side. And then for the hatch, This rubs the antenna a little bit. Yeah, everything works perfect. Pretty happy with it so far. Had it on here for about, I think we built it two and a half, three years ago. No, two and a half, two years ago. And it's been fun.